introducing sub diagram. In Visual Paradigm, you can elaborate any types of model elements by another diagrams. One of the common usage is to show the details interactions of a use case by set of sequence diagram. Let's see how it works. Creating sub diagram is very easy. You just need to select the use case and click the resources in right bottom corner called sub diagrams. And then you will see a new diagram item. Let's click the new diagram. And then the new diagram dialog box will be shown up. You just need to select the sequence diagram and input the diagram name. Let's name it withdraw cache success. And you click the OK to confirm the creation. Now you see a brand new sequence diagram is created. You can draw the actor and lifeline to draw the sequence diagram to show the interactions of the restore clash use case. And you can click on the Model Explorer and you will see all the diagrams and the model elements are under the parents, the use case withdraw cache. And there is a easy navigation link in the diagram. You can easily navigate back to the parent model element, the use case withdraw cache. Another benefit of using the resources is you can preview the sub diagram while you're navigating the menu items. You can see the sequence diagram showing on the right hand side. When you click it, you just open the sequence diagram. Other than creating new diagram, you can also add existing diagram into the model elements. Let's click the check balance use case and click the existing diagram item. And then the add sub diagram dialog box will be shown. You can select the check balance activity diagram and click OK. And then the sub diagram is added to check balance. You can click to jump into the check balance activity diagrams. Sometimes you may have a lot of sub diagram inside single use case. To navigate into this sub diagram may be very complicated. In Visual Paradigm, we have a more items in the pop-up. You click it, then you will see the sub diagram dialog box. You can search or you can browse the sub diagram, which one you want. You say this is the implementations, then you jump into the sub diagrams. And you can go back to withdraw cache. The indication button in the tool palette can turn on or off the indications of sub diagrams of the selected diagrams. You click the indication button and then the sub diagram resource icon will be shown in all the use cases that has the sub diagrams. You can just navigate in. Let's walk through some typical usage of the sub diagram. You may elaborate the use case with activity diagram to show different scenarios. And also it is common to elaborate the use case by a set of sequence diagram to show the interactions. Elaborate the internal states of a class is also very common. So you can show the critical state change of specific class easily by using the sub diagrams. Elaborate the details of the sub process by using another business process diagram is also very common practice. You can go into the sub diagram by open the sub process diagram. And also you can go back to the parent process by clicking the link on top left corner. Thank you very much for watching this video.